is. Quote unquote. No, I'm joking. But here we are. Um, duck hunt with duck. Zane and uh, still with Rob. Yeah. Well, pretty common matchup, as we stated before. And where else are you going to see Duck Hunt? And we say it's a common matchup. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's a New York thing. But here, um, Zane really likes um, Smashville. I've seen them go to Smashville quite often. And I'm, we're seeing it in action right now, just how um, well Zane is um, playing around this middle platform and just not letting Dill get closer. Yeah, no, it, just doing it as like a marker, saying this is my side, this is your side, don't step across this line. And it was working perfectly well, and Dill crosses the line. Yeah. Oh, and takes the crosses stock. the line indeed because that was a in a stock where okay. And that's the retaliation. There you go. <laughs> you know. Zane was like, yeah, no, that that was their um villain yeah. origin story and was like, no, that's not gonna happen. Has to be equal. Yeah. <laughs> All things must be equal. But yeah, so it went from like really campy to now they're just so in their fa each other's faces. And it could just happen in a moment. And that's because of the stage, nonetheless, because it's such a small stage that they would just want one moment they're across stage, one moment they're in each other's faces. Exactly. And um, Rob is a pretty big boy, kind of chonky. And um, you'd yeah. expect some of these moves to like hit more, but Dill is doing a really great job of just pacing, spacing away, using the gyro to get closer to Zayn. And um, Zane is having a little bit of difficulty. Wow! Yeah, the, a little difficulty indeed with the Alice Pass taking their stock. Yeah, it's not looking really bright for Zane right now, but with these up airs, you know, the fortune might turn around. Mm hmm. Honestly, um, Zane and their up air is quite frightening. It is um, a sign of the times when it's coming. But um, oh. Dill honestly just does a really great job just coming back on stage without too much damage, I say, as they're getting hit by cans. Yeah. They still haven't got a clean landing, so it's unfortunate to them. And their gyro now being used against them. So unfortunate, but finally getting on stage. And 153 now. But that's really good on um, Zane's part to do so because we saw a little bit of gas coming out of Dill. A little bit of um, engine running out. Um, so regardless, even if uh, Zane can't take the kill right now, Dill is still able to. Um, I mean, Dill's engine is eventually gonna run out. Yeah, eventually will. Okay, oh, yeah, but oh, oh. this stock ran out first, so <laughs> they got they got a bit of a pit stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 74 on to Zane. So in 83 and 89 now counting, and Dill. Through pacing, has been taking the stock first. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, you know, you'll see that they're probably going to take the game at this rate. And Ooh. as you see it right there, takes game one. Honestly, every time I see Rob grab forward, it, forward throw, and then they kind of hop off stage, it's always a really scary moment because you don't know what's going to happen. And I believe Dill did a fair, but the can yeah. was enough to take Zane out. Yeah. It'd be your own enemies. You tried to combo break, but you'd be blowing up instead. It'd be your own. Well, right now, there's... Um, FD off the grid and now just wandering F about. Yeah, PS2 also off the grid. So we could potentially. Oh, we're seeing small battlefield. We're gonna see some, get some tech music. It's a good song. Always picks this song. Pokemon Stadium 2, but smushed in a little bit. Yeah. People call it small PS2. I would call it to that. Yeah. Kalos, but a little bit smaller. Yeah. <laughs> Northern Cave, but smaller. No, it's about the same as Northern Cave. Oh, okay. I think. I think. <laughs> All right, so we're getting it into it. All right, so now we don't have the center platform. We have now two platforms on the side. And let's see how that plays a big difference on Zane's game plan and see if that helps them. Mm hmm. And honestly, um, in the previous match when we saw Tilde and Vivi, each of them had their own platforms to chill around. And. Um, Two characters that can throw a lot of projectiles to one another. They have, they each have a, like a safety ceiling for them yeah. with each platform. 
Yeah, it's like something they could hide under. When they when they're like a rainy day, it's like, oh, we, we could be under here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But yeah. But, but big, yeah, big thing with Zane right now. Okay, getting caught in their combo. But they've been stopping their combos relatively short, short, as of like these games. Probably not as like, um, not I wouldn't say as practice, but isn't as confident to hit their longer combos or strings as today. Mm hmm. And you know, when we saw it at Smashville, Dill really was able to push through um, Zane's usual setups. And I believe that has a, a great part into how uh, Zane is playing this game right now. Just not um, putting up oh, their projectiles yeah. and their little setups. Oh, should have got caught right there. Oh, oh, I actually wow. like that setup. Wow, that, that was nice. Yeah, just using yourself as the bait to get like the gunmen to shoot. Yeah, just push it away. Yeah. All right, we've seen like another shot up. And this is looking like the Wild West. Oh, yeah. that's chill poke? Uh, uh, that was, that was, that was Who not, allowed that? That was not nice. That was 1 800 Sakurai. <laughs> Get me some help here. <laughs> <laughs> but here, Zane just having to close out, needs to close out this talk soon because. Dill and Rob in general can just rack up damage, start it off, you're at zero, perfect damage, perfect time. Yeah. And there you go, really good on Zane for closing out the stock really quick before Dill could actually um, do more moves on them. Yeah, and now they have a chance to like just bring it back, but Dill has done a great job to get the pressure off of her and just like mitigate this damage. And you see right there, down tilt, starting another combo chain. Mm hmm You know, Zane very familiar with um with items and just picking them up, using gyro to their to their advantage really leaves Dill um projectile -less, I guess is yeah. the right word, other than the beam. But uh wow. Yeah, just mm -hmm. unfortunate losing the stock right there and again it just seems like um Zane is just not hitting them hard enough mm -hmm. as like in return Dill's just hitting for so much more and it just seems like the neutral's about the same. But the punish game is just lacking, mm -hmm. and they're just, they're just losing in the exchange department. Right, right. And now um, we're seeing Zane just push Dill away, not letting them get back onto stage. But yeah, forcing them to yeah, go there, high there and just caught him. The up airs are now relatively equal. This game has been very back and front with each other. They keep um, oh my, taking that was each other's stocks. Just using the F smash to peel back. And then using the side B to just like as a combo starter, just to get the whiff grab right there. Oh, oh. is that gonna take no, it? No, no, right it's, it's, it's a rob. Oh, but is that gonna? Is that? Okay, oh, there's a lot of the if that <laughs> <laughs> right now because we're just so scared. Uh, um and and as we were saying before, like Zane needed to extend the damage, and they did, and they brought that game right back. There's one good string. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I love how um, Zane was able to adapt their combos in a manner where Dill can, can't predict them as well. Um, yeah. As opposed to the Smashville stage where um, it was very, I don't want to call it repetitive, but Dill was able to pick up on patterns that um, Zane wasn't able to punish as well. And in this game, they played much slower. They played, um, they mixed up their timing, and we saw some really cool, spicy things from Zane. Yeah, they, they also brought out new setups, which was like also the big thing. So just catching Dill like off guard. Mm hmm. And for using a lot of um, those, what are they called? The gyro. Yeah. Um, really doesn't give um, Dill a lot of extra space to work around with yeah no definitely like taking control of like their projectiles that's a big thing when you like playing a projectile character like if someone just takes it from you you're like oh man that sucks <laughs> like I, I don't want like what if you're a kid at like the playground and someone just takes your toy you don't want that <laughs> exactly and that's exactly what zane did to do yeah that's straight up bullying right there yeah Dill doesn't have any toys left. Yeah. But hey, we're back into small battlefield with a third platform. Battlefield it is. Yeah, big battle, big battlefield. Big medium battlefield. The bigger small battlefield. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Top plat battle. 
Um, right. Anyway, back on to the game. We see the usual how both of these players tend to start the game, especially Zane, with their setups just throwing out their cans and their frisbees and the sheriffs around town. Yeah, no, doing a great job. And try to get that roll away with the disc, disc but it just happened to not work out in that instance. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, no, I'm just liking the patient, more patient play from Dill. Just try not to engage with um, Zane right now, because that's where they netted a lot of things. Game one, in some instances. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I really like Dill's use of the laser, being able to like push through most of them, unless the can blows up in front of her face. And yeah. it's really doing numbers on Zane. That laser is enough to like knock everyone out of the playing field, except for the Zane himself because yeah. laser being transcendent it's just a lot just goes through so much stuff and you can't do a lot about it oh zane expecting mm. an aggressive landing and just gets called out right there and oh yeah, yeah. Gets called out that's like so easy to hit man <laughs> that was a strong hit that was mean oh got caught up by the last thing and you can't do anything after that because it doesn't go away immediately after hitting a shield Mm -hmm. That little frisbee is. Oh my god, is it gonna. Okay. Okay. It, Ooh. it, it did a bunch of chasing. Hold the setup right there, just right back at you. Oh, just pushing it back and forth. Yeah, um, one side to another. And okay. uh, not yeah, being too, able to get that setup. Yeah, too high, it looks like. Oh wow, not yet. Yeah, Dill almost at 200%. Almost out of gas, and finally, Zane takes the stock yeah 23 percent. that's nothing yeah but 58 that and this might be something <laughs> okay yeah missing the roll misspacing it Ooh, are we gonna see another spike oh, oh using okay. the spinny move okay tried to get a spike on dill right there but couldn't and i do like the attempt for it because dill was running low on gas at that instance. Mm -hmm. And although Zane is at a higher, a much higher percentage than Dill, if Zane were to able get, were to able, were to get a single setup, it will rack up a lot of damage on Dill. And we've seen Zane really rack up damage really quick. But honestly, that yeah. back air from Dill, Rob's back air is kind of mean. Yeah, it, it's monstrous. It's like it's like the mean, like the evil team in Space Jam. Yeah, exactly. There you go. All right, but yeah, Zane is down a full stock, and though they made a comeback last game, I, this one's a lot harder. Yeah, definitely a whole stock um, deficit, and um, though I must mention that I really love the way Zane forces Dill to just chill on platforms sometimes, where they're forced to just like run around, and we saw Dill just get hit by so many cans at that one section where they're just being juggled around the stage. Yeah. They definitely are. Oh, this got caught all jumping. And Dill just needs to keep composure and just close it out. Because this game is just theirs to take right now. And Zayn has to look for so much more in the patterns. Mm -hmm. And right now we see those up airs from Zayn, but not taking it just yet. There's that little gyro set up right there. No combo to come up with it. But a little bit of damage coming um, Zane's way. Yeah, definitely. Hold, shot up. And again, another gyro. And this is, if I was Dill, I'll be like, okay, losing the stock. You wouldn't want it to happen. But Zane is at kill percent. So almost like anything will kill them right there. And, and jumping off with fair. There it is. Honestly, really good play on both players. Zane just wasn't able to close out the. the, the, the Zane, I mean, Dill was still at um, her second stock, right? Yeah, yeah. She was. Zane was unable to close out the stock, which honestly was so rough on um, look, look Zane's the, part. She jumps, she just jumps so far out. It's like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Wave my hands. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Yeah. And I, I know I said earlier that you'll be here for the entire time. I'm not. But it looks like we're going to get another caster swap here. Mm -hmm. so. so, yeah, it was nice to briefly commentate mm -hmm. with you. I've heard a lot about your commentary, so it's nice to see it in action and in person. As